hi everyone this is the second video of this tutorial in this video we will learn what is dotnet core before learning about asp.net core mec we must understand what is dotnet core let's have a look on the agenda of this video in this video we will learn what is dotnet core where can we develop applications using dotnet core what can we develop with dotnet core what are the main features of dotnet core what type of language can we use in the development of asp.net core applications what will be used for the package management in asp.net core and where is the community of dotnet core what is dotnet core dotnet core is an open source and cross platform framework which is used for building several type of applications .NET Core is supported by Microsoft. So since we have to develop some applications in the .NET Core framework, now let's understand where can we develop .NET Core applications. Remember, .NET Core is a cross-platform framework, so we can use several type of machines for the development of ASP.NET Core applications. We can use Windows operating system. We can use Mac operating system. We can use Linux operating system. Also, we can use Docker. .NET Core image is available on Docker also. If you are coming from .NET framework background, then you must know that the development of .NET framework applications was possible only on the Windows applications. Now there is no dependency on the Windows framework. .NET Core is an open source and cross platform framework. So we can use Windows, Mac, Linux and Docker for the development of applications using .NET Core. What can we develop? It means what type of applications can we develop using .NET Core framework? Web applications. Using .NET Core framework, we can develop web applications. Inside the web applications, there are some types just like we can create web applications using ASP.NET Core MEC framework. We can also develop web APIs using ASP.NET Core web framework. We can also develop our web applications using Razor Pages. If you have some experience in the development of web form applications using .NET framework, then you will find some similarities over here in the Razor Pages. We can also develop microservices with the help of .NET Core web framework. Using .NET Core framework, we can develop mobile applications, we can develop console applications, we can also develop desktop applications and the development of desktop applications is possible in the third version of .NET Core. If you are using any latest version of .NET Core starting from 3.0, then you can develop desktop applications also with the help of .NET Core. .NET Core can also be used for the development of Internet of Things IoT. We can also use .NET Core for the machine learning development. We can also create gaming applications with the help of .NET Core. We can also create cloud applications with .NET Core. Here you can see with the help of .NET Core we can create several type of applications. .NET Core is a huge framework which is used for the development of several type of applications. Here are the main features of .NET Core. .NET Core is completely free. No fees or license is required for the development of .NET Core applications. Even if you are developing your applications for the commercial use, still there is no need of any license or fees. .NET Core is completely free of cost. .NET Core is an open source. The entire code of .NET Core is available on GitHub. You can open this link in your browser and you can see all the details about the code and other information on the github since dotnet core is an open source framework so you can also contribute in the development and maintenance of the dotnet core you can simply open this link in your browser you can go to the repository you can work on the code and you can create the pull request dotnet core is cross platform it means we can develop and run our applications on multiple operating systems. We can use Mac, Windows, Linux and Docker. And most important, .NET Core is supported by Microsoft. 
So these are some main features of .NET Core. It is free, open source, cross-platform, and this is supported by Microsoft. CLI support. .NET Core also has a CLI support, which is command line interface. So it means you can work on your applications with the help of command line tools. To work on the CLI, you have to install the .NET Core. In this tutorial, we will also learn how to work with the CLI for .NET Core. CLI can be used for all the phases of the application development. We can create the application, develop the application, run the applications. Also, we can publish the applications with the help of CLI tools, command line interface. Language support. What are the main languages which are supported in .NET Core framework? We can use C Sharp. The latest version of C Sharp is supported in .NET Core. F Sharp. Visual Basic or PB. These are the main languages which are supported in .NET Core framework. If you have any knowledge about these languages, then you can work on .NET Core framework with the help of any programming language which are listed over here. Package Management Since in the development of any type of application, we need some packages. And to get these packages, .NET Core used by default uh, package management which is NuGet. So NuGet is the source which will be used for all the packages which are required for the development of .NET Core applications. .NET Core Community All major community platform has a special community for .NET Core. Here is the link for the official communities of the .NET Core. Let's click on this link. Here you can see we have the complete information about the community of the .NET Core. Here we can see the meetups. So you can click on this find meetups. It will open a new website meetup.com where you can find the meetups as per your location or area. Then if you scroll down a little bit, then here you will see there are some links for the official community of .NET Core. On the stack overflow, you can click on this link and you will see all the questions, all the issues which are raised on stack overflow regarding .NET Core development. You can also discuss your issues or questions on GitHub as well. Here you can see we have all the links for each type of framework. Twitter, you can also discuss your questions on Twitter. Then we have official community on the Facebook as well. If you need some support from Microsoft, then you will also find some links over here. That is all in this video. Kindly hit the like button of this video, subscribe to the channel and share this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.